truck rescue a lot of people been asking what's going on with the house well nothing nothing's going on with the house and the reason for that is that there's standing water everywhere it's been raining like crazy out here and in my last video that i put up we got a dump truck stuck out front i took a look at the condition of my roads and they were just getting worse from having all those dump truck loads of dirt brought in which apparently i don't need the dirt right now i need dirt when we're finished setting the house up but right now it's just going to get in the way as a matter of fact i have to move all that dirt down to the end because you can't put a foundation on fill dirt which someone told me and i should have listened to him i guess but the good news is I didn't lay any of the fill dirt out where the house is going. All I have to do is scrape the vegetation off the top of it. Uh, the dirt I can just move when we're finished. I'll use it to fill around the outside of the foundation. But there's nothing I can really do right now on that. The shop is still sitting out in front. I'll call the small shop the garage. Yeah, and the big shop's the shop. There we go. I have to fix the bucket truck so that i can take limbs off over there where the house needs to go around and come in so i'm gonna prioritize i'm fixing the bucket truck but right now i'm gonna go out and try to fix the 1961 fwd big truck that's got the cummins diesel in it because i think i can use it to pull the garage around if i need to i'm gonna do what i can which is limited right now there's nothing i can do i can't move the house by myself and i'm certainly not going to rush the guys that are moving the house i know what their difficulties with i know the reasons that they haven't brought it over and they're valid reasons they have bigger fish to fry than me they have some big jobs they're doing and they're short on drivers but i will do what i can to get everything as prepared as possible for him and includes trying to fire up that big rig because if i can get the dirt moved right there and get the garage brought around and in place that'll save them a lot of time and it'll clear up room in the front pasture where they can just bring the house in when they can and leave it sitting there until we get the site prepped the first thing we'll do is go feed the animals so i'm going to try to get the bucket truck working it runs but the bucket's still stuck out from the last time i got stuck and jamie had to come rescue me and lower it down it's extended and it's down it won't go up left or right in or out so i'll try to fix that again and then i want to show you uh jamie and i went and rescued two 59 chevy pickups last year right after i got finished cutting the house in half we had a great time montana it's just awesome isn't it and the people yeah. are awesome America and America and uh, we're heading home with a big load yep Montana guys are just as redneck as Ricky <laughs> and it's evident by the load that we're carrying four men two Kubotas okay, you're clear of the plug. but now my jacks all my jack is jacked boy I don't like the way his jacks sitting <laughs> Come on up. Hold on. All right, come on up. Pete. Yeah, we're good right now. We just got to push the truck over a little. Whatever else you can think of. Four men, two Kubotas, and a bunch of chains and straps. <laughs> yeah. And some real sketchy floor jack operations. Oh my gosh. Not a heavy load, but a big load. Yeah.
One of them I call Ram Jam. I was going to call it Black Betty because it was black and I never called a truck a girl's name. But then Jamie looked up the song Black Betty. By the way, is it, oh, Black Betty, Ramble Down or Ramble Lamb? Comment below. But then Jamie showed me who it was by and it was by Ram Jam and I like that name for my truck. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the Ram Jam truck. Now, I have two trucks that I have to build this spring and summer for other people, but they need to be done in the shop. I'm trying to get the shop set up so I can do it right, you know? Better slow and good than quick and not good, if that makes sense. I can't build a, a quality truck out here in the gravel. So what we're gonna do with Ram Jam is a lot of self-tapper screws. I'm just gonna take all the parts that I have amassed for this truck and put them on the truck and just have something that I can put around the property in. I think it'll be a fun project. We'll start by putting the bed that's been sitting out in the trees. We used it for a table at our wedding. We put plywood on the top of it, a short fleet side bed. We'll get that over here, put it on there. The tires keep going flat on it. We'll put the correct wheels, hubcaps, and beauty rings on it. Throw some bumpers on it and we'll see how far we get today. But. I'd like to start putting that together just to have all of it in one piece so that when I get done with the two trucks that I need to build for other people this year, I can pull it in there and build it for myself. Anyway, let's go get those cows fed and then we'll get to work on Ram Jam. And in the meantime, as far as the progress on the house, I'm trying to fix the bucket truck and I'm trying to fix the four wheel drive truck. But today I want to just have a little fun and do a little work on Ram Jam. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, and keep coming back. And ding, click the notification bell. Peace out. Hi girls! Jet! He's like, quit screwing around and feed us! I gotta get this uh, flakes arranged properly on here. I have to get some of that out from the back so I can start pulling flakes off.
<laughs> Jets like just give me some of my needles and I'll be fine. I don't need the hay right now. <clears throat> See, so I have one. I have one that Jamie said I should name Steak Bite. That's this one right here. The steak Bite doesn't get as much because the other cows are mean to Steak Bite. But I've devised a plan, so I just dump a whole bunch over here. And then the bossiest ones go over there. Steak Bite's over here, but that's just because Steak Bite thinks she's not getting some. But then what I do is I put I put a little stash over here for steak bite. Right in the corner. Yep, you know the deal. And then one of them will try to come over here, but I, I just put a little right there. And it tricks them. And then, I'll put a little more over by the pigs. They're not pigs, they're cows. But some of them are kind of bossy and rude. Nope, be nice to steak bite. Hey, Look right here. You steak bite alone. Yeah. Oh look, I'm dumping all the food over here. Here's where all the food is. Look, there's a pile right there that nobody's even bothering with. Yeah, see all the food being dumped over here? And then, when their tension's lured away, I'll put the rest of it right in the corner for steak bite. You know, the reason I do that is because if Steak Bite gets her head in the corner, they can't shove her out of the way. They, they try, they go under and stuff, but, but she can keep her head crammed in that corner. Because see, she's a little, all the other ones are all rounded out, but Steak Bite has some indentations over there. So Steak Bite needs a little extra. Yeah she does and he's like where's my hay where's my hay you still owe me food dad dad you still owe me food where's my hay We've got a pretty good system for feeding our critters, all of them. I mean, I'm sure I can improve upon it a little as time permits, but it's pretty good. It's efficient. We're not spending all our, all our live long day feeding the animals. You know, you do, it's a, something that you have to do consistent and regular but it doesn't have to take forever I uh, brought the trailer for two reasons today one is I had to haul all that the bags of new treats out for these guys but two is I have a bunch of tools out here that I'm not gonna be working on the barn right now it's staying dry in here I know that needs to be closed in I still got to put the metal on the front, the, the gable ends and the side and around here. But the roof is all metal, it's staying dry in here. We've got everything situated where it's easy to feed the animals. They all have a dry area, they can go and lay down when it's raining real bad. They've got their watering, their fencing. I'm focusing on human habitat now for a little while. Easy open, pull small tape. Pull small tape. Let's see, we'll try it, folks. Pull small tape. No, I disagree. I think I disagree. This is easy open. See, that's easy. 
Look oh. here, Jet. You got some more. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Too open. Pull narrow tape while holding wide tape. Pull narrow tape by holding wide tape. So I only see one tape. See, oh, maybe this is the wide tape. Wide tape, narrow tape. Oh, all right, that one was correct on its advertising. That one worked pretty good. The other one probably would have worked if it had been worded like this one. Pull narrow tape while holding wide tape. Narrow tape, wide tape. Wide tape, narrow tape. Look, it's my cows when they get big. We got to give them a little more. They know anyways, they're over there looking at me. So they all know darn good and well that they already got their treats. They know, but they also know that dad just brought a whole bunch more in, huh, Steve? Like, we'll sneak you a little more in your corner. That's how we do that. If I see one that looks like it has a little less weight than the others, I'm gonna spoil that one a little bit. These are well-rounded, but you can see the indentation right there on the steak bites sides. Okay. All right, my work is done here. Now I'll reclaim my tools. Good to have all my tools out of there.
Oh, good girl. Good girl, you are a good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's get you a treat. That's a nice tire right there.
Well, that's encouraging with the bed on there. But what's discouraging is the back tires repeatedly going flat, and I don't think there's any hope for them. I guess I could put a plug in that. <laughs> no. So it wasn't really my plan to have dated old rusty chrome wagon wheels on there anyway uh, a lot of people might not agree with my decision for this but i want it to look stock and well be stock but it doesn't have to be a showboat anyway i have uh rounded up all of the correct wheels i believe i'm going with 16 inch skinnies and don't get upset about the tires not being off-road rated and all of that they're correct for this truck and i can put the uh original hub caps on because they have the clips and i can also get some aggressive tires that aren't wide that will look good on here this and these are actually plenty tall enough matter of fact we might go up just a hair with these guys on there anyway i'm gonna put the two on the back first just so we're not sitting on flats on both sides and then maybe i'll go on and get the other ones rounded up and put them on the front
Well, it ain't cheap being poor, and I can't take any more of the tickets and the taxes and the fees. I work hard for my pay, and they take it away. Like they don't care, I got a family to feed. They cut my shifts in the mail. It's a little too far gone. That's not Bondo, folks. This truck actually has fiberglass front fenders on it, which I will be replacing. But right now I'm trying to get all my parts together. And that includes having the correct emblems on both sides. That'll work.
Annabella on the job. Good girl. Come on. What are you doing, Ricky? Well, Annabella went ahead and, and inspected my Ram Jam truck for me. So, it's worthy of a, one of her Stickers. decals. No, it's a decal. It's a sticker. No, it's not. Oh, it's one of the messed up ones. Want me to try it? Well, I'm glad I didn't send this to someone. That was in my $500 batch, remember? When they inflationed me without warning. It's gotta come off. No, I think I better go get another one. I got the no, thing you up. No, you don't. You look head. nice. No, you I always don't. look nice. That's what I do when I mow at work. I cover <laughs> my hair. There you go. Um, Jamie salvaged to the Annabella sticker. You just gotta be. Thank you, careful. honey. You just gotta be careful. Yeah, you gotta have a little thin fingernail that's perfect classic truck rescue truck inspector general annabella approved woof you woof woof you woof 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 woof, woof.